Pennsylvania State Police is currently 435 uh, uh, members below our complement. By the time the next class graduates, before that class graduates in December, sometime around November, we will be at 500 below our complement level. That, that we estimate. These are unprecedented numbers, and this is the reason that we're looking at every way we can possibly have uh, some efficiencies. As we go forward uh, into the future, we're looking, we had 100 more retirements than normal this year because it's a contract year. We planned for 150, we had about 250, and we still have two months, more months to go. So that's the impetus to our looking at these particular issues and how we're going to deal with uh, perhaps a complement that is significantly lower than what it has been. Thank you. Right. I have a number of different plans that depend on how, what my complement is. So if my complement, say we were to get more classes, then many of these actions that I'm contemplating right now would not be necessary. Uh, but if we go to 500, and even potentially by the end of the, this current budget, maybe 600 will complement, depending on, on what happens and how many retirements, <coughs> this would just be, this is the first step that would probably be followed throughout the rest of the Commonwealth because we save bodies. It's all about manpower. We have uh, uh, increased demand up in Marcella Shell. I put another 25 troopers up there. So they have to come from somewhere. Uh, Colonel Bivens, if you could explain what uh, the consequences would be that we are contemplating with that and with uh, Lancaster. Certainly. Just to, to give you a little bit of background as well, one of the things that we do is uh, anytime uh, we have an academy class plan or, uh, when they're getting ready to graduate. We take a look at the workload of our troopers across the state, and we need to have some uh, method to try and allocate bodies, not just some random distribution of those, those positions. So we, uh, we have a formula called the staffing formula that uh, research and development utilizes, and they go and they take a look at the uh, workload of troopers at every station across the Commonwealth, as well as the specialized functions that we perform. Uh, in the various uh, stations and also in the bureaus. Based on the analysis, we make a determination of uh, where the workload has shifted, where we need to have more troopers, where we, where we can uh, uh, balance out by having less troopers. There's a finite pool of resources that we have available to us. And so, uh, as our numbers are dropping, we have taken a look and we've uh, utilized that, uh, that formula to determine where it is that we may be able to realize some efficiencies. In this particular case, we have two different uh, possible uh, scenarios that can play out here in Lancaster County. The first has to do with uh, the Ephrata station. Uh, with, with regard to Ephrata, uh, since the first <coughs> year, uh, they have lost uh, over 50% of their, uh, the geographic coverage area that they were responsible for. And uh, that's resulted in a drop of more than 50% of the incidents. And the bottom line is we now have a station that is uh, greatly overstaffed. Um, we have uh, a number of other stations around the Commonwealth, well, I should say number, several other stations around the Commonwealth that are in that same boat. We now have uh, uh, forced minimum staff. We have to have a certain number of people there to run a 24-hour day operation and deliver all the services that you need to deliver from a full service police agency. And so when we look at Ephrata, uh, the, the, the uh, calculations that we have done show that the workload there, in order for those troopers to be working at about the same level as troopers elsewhere around the Commonwealth, uh, we can cover that area with eight to ten, the equivalent of eight to ten troopers, as opposed to uh, we currently have between enlisted and civilian about 28 people assigned to the effort of station. So there's a lot of uh, uh, waste there from the standpoint of uh, resources that could be reallocated to perform other functions. Whether that be specialized functions, for example, if we need another fire marshal somewhere, we can uh, convert a position there, or if we need additional patrol troopers in the Marcellus Shale region, that is the ability to move uh, troopers there. So with regard to Ephrata, the uh, proposal uh, would be to eliminate the Ephrata station, have that entire area, and it really only leaves uh, three townships in the northern part of, uh, of the fourth township, <coughs> to be covered out of the Lancaster station. Uh, everything would be covered from Lancaster. There wouldn't be any shifting of that to uh, uh, Berks County, for example, to our Reading, True Reading. It would, uh, that would all be covered out of the Lancaster station, regardless of what happens to the True Command at Lancaster. Uh, that, would, that would allow us to save a number of people. It would allow us to save between $150,000 and $200,000 a year in 
leasing and utility uh, the costs associated with maintaining that station. It allows us to decrease our automobile fleet by several vehicles, so there are uh, a, a lot of different savings that we realize. The other part of, and, and there's a map up there that I would uh, refer you to, and you can see the, uh, the yellow dot kind of uh, uh, northern end of the county is where the effort station is located, and we've highlighted the townships that effort is currently responsible for in yellow. That's, that's their sole area of uh, primary responsibility. Everything in gray is uh, covered by municipal police departments, and the light blue is covered by Lancaster headquarters. Uh, in terms of, uh, I know there's been a lot of concern about response time. But, uh, we can look at that. First of all, let me tell you that uh, it's, it's our position that the tool should not be sitting on station waiting for a call. Uh, they, they should be out in the zone. We've put those cars in local offices. We've put uh, uh, vehicle locators in those cars so that our dispatchers can see where the cars are, where the members are out on patrol, and so that we can get the closest car to any given incident in the shortest amount of time possible. So there, when we have, and we even stagger shifts, for example, so that uh, daylight shift, you may have people coming in and working a six to two shift, others seven to three and so forth, so that we have cars leaving the station, going out to those patrol zones at different times and coming back at the end of their shift at different times. And so uh, the, the response time really should not be an issue. Uh, 